Hey Foundry Church, welcome to our video devotional today from our Easter series, Elroy, When Love Sees You. Today we're gonna jump into John 18, one through 14, and we're gonna be looking at Malchus's story. Let's get started. John 18, one through 14. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was a garden and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the high priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said, and Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked them, Who is it that you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you, I am he. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken would be fulfilled. I have not lost one of these you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus commanded Peter, put your sword away. Shall I drink from the cup my father has given you? Then the detachment of soldiers with its commander and the Jewish officials arrested Jesus. They bound him and brought him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jewish leaders that it would be good if one man died for the people. I shouldn't even be talking about this. If my master, Caiaphas, the high priest, if he found out that I was here talking to you about this, he would throw me in prison. That night still haunts me. I just, I can't get it out of my head. Other members of the household had already gone to bed that night, so I was surprised to see Caiaphas in my doorway. All he said to me was, come, it's time. When I went outside, I saw, I saw soldiers, I saw other officials, their, their faces lit up by the, the flickering flames of our torches. And then I saw him, one of Jesus' disciples, the, the same man that met with my master earlier. Judas. He looked like he felt completely important in the moment, but I have seen my fair share of poor ladder climbing in my time with my master. I noticed we were, we were making our way to Gethsemane. Did Judas know of some plot that was going to take place there and wanted us to catch them in the act? No, there wasn't much going on. All we saw were a few men in front of us, most of them sleeping, but one was standing. He began to walk toward us, and eventually he, he stopped and stood where he was. His face was partially lit by the moonlight and partially by our torchlight. We were all standing on one side with power and with law and with might, and he was standing there alone. And then he boldly asked us who we were looking for. And once we gave him the answer, he stopped, opened his mouth, and he said, I am he. 
these words, they, 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 they crashed into us with the force of an ocean wave. We fell to the ground in shock. As the soldiers were getting up, they reached for their weapons, but I grabbed my torch. All the other torches had gone out, but mine was still lit. Maybe that's why he picked me. As they were arresting Jesus, the man that they call Peter lunged forward and attacked me of all people. I remember the excruciating pain and falling to the ground. I was dizzy. I was so shocked. In my agony, I saw Jesus walking towards me and I was completely terrified. He knelt down and he placed his hand on my head. And in an instant, the pain was evaporated, gone like trying to remember a dream from the night before. When I reached to feel my head, I, I was fine. I mean, I was completely fine. Peter had cut off my ear and Jesus healed me. As mystified as I was as to why Peter would attack me of all people I understand even less why Jesus chose to heal me. Why did he even bother to notice me? Wasn't I his enemy? Now that we've heard Malchus's story, let's look at some questions and dive a little bit deeper. Question number one, put yourself in Malchus's place. What are you feeling as you approach Jesus? Question number two, do you think he felt he was with the people who were in the right and Jesus was in the wrong? Or do you think he knew he was on the wrong side? Question number three, have you ever been a part of something you knew was wrong? Question number four, imagine being attacked by Peter what would you be feeling? Question number five. Now put yourself in Malchus's place as Jesus heals you. What are your thoughts? Question number six. Why do you think Jesus healed Malchus? Question number seven. How do you think this experience changed Malchus's life? Thanks so much for joining us today on our video devotional. As you go forward today in your day, ask God to show you the ways that he's healed, protected, and provided for you in ways that you may not have seen before. And we'll see you again tomorrow.